Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five food companies. P, Q, R, S, T. They have certain number of outlets in four different cities. And we are given certain conditions and this graph. So this graph gives the number of outlets of the top three companies in each of the cities and the total number of outlets of the top three companies as a percentage of the total number of outlets of the five companies. So what does it mean it? Like in Chennai, the top three companies are P, Q and S. In Delhi, top three are T, R and Q. Okay, similarly, S, T, P and S, Q, R in Kolkata and Mumbai. And 75% means that these three occupy 75% of the total outlets. This means 80% of the total outlets. So others will be, other two will be 25%. Similarly, other two will be 20%, other two 20%, other two 30%, right? So we will formulate a table, fill in the values and figure out the number of uh, outlets of each of the companies based on these conditions which are given to us, okay? And if you look at one of the questions which says that which of the following statements will uniquely help determine the number of outlets of all the companies in all cities. It means that we may not be able to determine some of the answers. Okay. And for the first question, we should be able to determine the answer. So now let us look at the, uh, the data which is given to us and formulate a table. So let's first make a table like this. Uh, we can make it P, Q, R, S, T and the total number of outlets. Okay. And then for the four cities right so the four cities are chennai delhi kolkata and mumbai so let's start with chennai p is 90 960 so i'm putting 96 i'm skipping 10 because all of the values have 1 0 in the end okay q is 72 and s is 60 similarly t is 80 r is 72 and q is 48 then we have the third company which is a uh, third city kolkata s has 100 here and then we have t is 60 and p is 48 okay and then we have uh, s as 40 Q is also 40 and R is 32, right? So now these are the remaining values. So let's do one thing. Let's add these. So we get 168, 228. 228 is 75%, right? So one third if you take, that is 76. 25% will be 76. So total we have 3040. Okay, I'm writing 304 because I've skipped one zero in each of the values. 80%, this is 120, 200. 200 is 80%. Okay, so the total value will be 250. Then coming to this, this is 160, 208. 208 is 80%. Okay, divide by 8, you get 26. So 260. Basically, it is 2600. And the last one, which is uh, Mumbai, so we have a total of 112 which is 70 percent so 16 into 7 total outlets will be 160 okay so this is the total number of outlets for each of the cities two of the values are missing and based on these conditions we need to find the values okay the first thing is the total number of outlets of company p is 120 more than that of company q okay so the value whatever we get the total here that is 120 more than company q Okay, so uh, we will get some total. We will use that information here. The number of outlets of company P in Mumbai is less than that of company T. Okay, so let's say this is A, this is B. So A is less than B. Then the number of outlets of company T in Mumbai and of company R in Kolkata is the same. So this value is also B. Okay, then we have the number of outlets of company S in Delhi is half the number of outlets in company T in Chennai. S in Delhi, T in Chennai. So this is half. So let us take it C. 
and this will be 2c. Okay, so we have assumed some values like c and 2c, a and b. The number of outlets of each company in Mumbai is a multiple of 40. Okay, so we will start with this information and try to find the values of a and b and then fill in the table. Okay, so the first value that we will take is since this is 112, remaining is 48. Total is 160. So A plus B is 48. Now, the third highest was 32. Okay, the third highest is 32. So B cannot be more than 32. B has to be maximum 32. Since we can represent, see, it does not say that each one of them has a unique number of outlets, right? So if you see this graph, uh, two of the outlets have same number of uh, two of the companies have same number of outlets. So it is not necessary that each of the companies has a unique number of outlets. Okay, so it is quite possible that B might also have 320, but we represented only these three. Okay, so B might have 320. So A will be 16, right? 16 plus 32. Another possibility is if we take B less than that, we can take 28 because it has to be a multiple of 40 or in our case multiple of 4. So we can have A as 20. Okay, and then we can have, if we take 24 and 24, that is not possible. So we have two possible cases, right? So top three does not mean that, like we, in the graph, we can represent only three companies, right? So it is not given that these are unique values. So we can assume this to be 320 also. So if we take, uh, let's say a and b 16 and 32. So let's start with the first case wherein we take the values as 16 and 32. So if I take it 16, I get 32 here, that is 48. So this value will also be 32. Now the remaining value was 52. So this value will be 20. Okay. Now if this is 20, what is the total that we get? 120 plus 60, 180. And we are given that P is 120 more. So in our case, 12 more. So this should be 192. If we take 192, this is 144 and 16, 160. So this should be 32. 200 is filled. We have to fill 50 more. So this is 32. So C will come as 18 in this scenario. Okay. So the value of C is 18. So we get 18 and 36 in these two places. 36. Now 228 has been filled. We had to fill 76. So this value will be 40. Okay. So this is case one, which we have done. Second case is, let's take the values as 20 and 28 and see what happens. So if you take 20 here, this should be 28, right? This also will be 28 and now this becomes uh, like 252 had to be filled. This becomes 24. So this total turns out to be 184 and we need to make it 196. Now if you see this, there is an increase of 4 here and increase of 4 here. So that should remain same or if you do the total, it is 144, 164, we need 32. Okay, so this will remain 32 only. This will remain 18 only because we are subtracting from the totals. And now this value remains 36 only and this remains 40 only. So these four values we can uniquely find. But these four values we are not sure of depending on the condition. We shall be able to calculate these values. Now based on this, let us answer the questions. First question is what is the number of outlets of company T in Chennai? We can tell that the number is 360. Remember we have omitted one zero in each of these to like reduce the time to write the values. Which company has the highest number of outlets in all the four cities put together? So P is either 192 or 196, right? C, uh, like S, you see that it is 200 and 200 plus 18, 218 for sure. And T is 140, 140 plus if you take 68, that will be 208. Or if you take this value, 64, so you will get uh, 140, 140 plus 68, or if you take 64, then it becomes even less, 204, okay? So definitely S has the highest number of outlets. You do not need to calculate for R because R is not even given in the options. 
what is the number of outlets of company r in kolkata so r in kolkata is uh, is cannot it cannot be determined it has 320 or 280 okay we can't determine the values which of the following statements will uniquely help determine the number of outlets of all the companies in all cities okay so we will have to check option by option across the four cities t has 320 more outlets than r okay so let's make the total for r this is 112 112 plus 64 176 and uh, in the second scenario wherein uh, we have this value 112 plus 60 172 so in either case we see there is a difference of 32 okay here also there is a difference of 32 so 320 it does not help us determine the answer because again we will get these two values p has 320 outlets in delhi that we already know so it is not going to help us in any way the number of outlets of q in three of the cities is in the ratio 3 ratio 2 ratio 1 okay so q it is interesting so if you look at this if we take this case 24 so 3 2 1 3 three of the cities clearly we can get the answer okay so we know that there is 24 and accordingly we will use this blue values as the answer and of course r s 400 outlets in chennai is something we already know so it is not going to help us uniquely determine the values so this is the statement which will help us uniquely find the values of all the outlets in all the cities so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions